Muito bem, estamos chegando ao We término, né? Now. About to conclude or close to concluding the sixth forum of development of ABD with the last session on the topic challenges for development policies. So I'd like to invite the president of ABD, the moderator of this um, debate, Sergio Guzmo Sushudowski, also the president of the Latin American Association for Development, Alidi, Carlos Linares, Linares, and also the uh, representative, the deputy resident representative of uh, UNDP in Brazil, Carlos Arboleda. Thank you, Ada Ogiza. I'd like to greet my great friend, my friend and leader of uh, development in Latin America, Carlos Linares, president of ALIGI, the Latin American Association of Financial Institutions for Development. I'd also like to greet our partner, Carlos Arboleda, deputy resident representative of the UNDP here in Brazil, a partner in several activities of ABD, especially those related to the 2030 Agenda with the 17 Sustainable Development Objective Goals. So this is the last day of the forum, full of positive messages, all converging towards the main message, recovery, uh, from the COVID crisis requires more than ever that we tackle the transformations experienced by our society and drive them towards the development that we so aspire to, so much aspire to. We have heard in the past few days that the region of Latin America was one of the most impacted by the crisis, both in health terms and also economic terms. And if measures are not adopted, we might experience a new lost decade in our region. This warning makes us think how several the several development institutions should act to avoid more damages and to enable course the necessary course correction the first need identified is for connections and networks at all levels international regional and national the pandemic has evidenced the links existing in our society and it's up to us to strengthen the actions of our institutions through partnerships that will allow us to drive development in addition the COVID-19 crisis has also accelerated the process of digitalization at the same time clarifying access inequalities several economic sectors are impacted by lack of access to technologies undermining general productivity by reducing access to education or hindering the operation of companies or even the access to financial services so to reduce this inequality and drive digitalization of the population should be considered key elements when thinking of solutions for the crisis in a sustainable and inclusive manner. Lastly, the role of the guiding role of the 2030 agenda in the decade of action for implementation of the 17 SDGs and 169 targets by all member countries of the UN and for recovery to be aimed at achieving a new form of development, respecting planetary limits and finite resources, considering simultaneously the essential social basis for all the population. The financial sector, especially financial development institutions have a huge contribution in the financing and directing of the market towards more sustainable and inclusive economy. We heard 
throughout the event, how regulators can support this transition through new risk models and incentives to the, ins the transparency of institutions. Highlight was given to the development institutions in this transition as public agents with a long-term view and deep knowledge of local needs and technical, internal technical capacity and relationships, these institutions can A, help in the design of public policies that take into account local challenges, combining them with the agenda of necessary transformations, B, to operate in a counter-cyclical manner in tackling the uh, crisis, which is a classic role of development banks. C, building partnerships that allow mobilization and targeting of necessary resources. D, structure new ways of operating beyond financing, direct financing, and building new financial mechanisms that will facilitate access of private uh, investors or foreign investors, especially for strategic sectors such as sustainable infrastructure and also for micro, small and medium companies. And lastly, support the structuring of new markets that require investments in risk capital in order to drive development in all regions of our country and for financial development institutions to fulfill the mission of placing Brazil at the level of development that we all aspire to and need, in addition to a focus on these assumptions, we need to rely on the permanent support of local governments so that the de national development system will increasingly take on the role of making Brazil a more competitive and productive and socially inclusive and environmentally responsible manner. And for this, we are seeking to format a national development project. This is the invitation and the message at the closing of this event that I would like to leave to all of you. We have just heard eight regional, important regional leaders, eight governors from all the regions of Brazil, including the Amazon region, who have come to give their testimony and report on the actions of their states and their development institutions and the federal institutions that operate in their regions, and also talking about the relevance of programs implemented in the past few years, specifically in 2020. Along the event, we also heard how the institutions of the national development system have been working and how they are structuring themselves to support the present, but with an impact in the future, with a long-term view. ABDS, ABDS is a partner in supporting these transformations and in designing new paths. The association believes that development institutions will play a central role in this new development and seeks to collaborate, helping them in the implementation of their mandates and also bringing new instruments and methodologies that will facilitate their operations and opening up horizons for the establishment of new partnerships and learning better practice, the best practices that are applied with efficiency and excellent results in other regions of the world, in Latin America, and that can be applied in each of the regions of our country. So we reach the final panel of the sixth development forum. This panel will have two special guests. First, as I have saluted, Carlos Linares, the president of the Latin American Association of Development, Aligi, and also president of COFIGI, the Bank of Development of Peru. Second, Mr. Avaleda, the Deputy President of 
the UNDP in Brazil. Thank you all for being with us here this morning. I'd like to mention the importance of the uh, relationship of ABD with UNDP and uh, COFIDI so that we work together in the SDGs, providing materialization to the topics discussed during our forum. So I'd like to welcome Mr. Carlos Arboleda and to thank him for his being here to conclude our forum today. Many of the topics addressed by our forum has to do have to do with the mandate of the UNDP. So we celebrate the partnership that we are um, building with such important institution. This collaboration is very relevant to strengthen the system of development here in Brazil and for fulfilling the 2030 Agenda and the SDGs. So I'd like to invite Mr. Arboleda to speak to us. Carlos, the floor is yours. Well, thank you for the... Thank you very much for participating in this final uh, panel of the of our Forum of Development. Also, I'd like to salute my colleague Carlos Linares. In addition to all of you who participate with us online to discuss such relevant topic, the challenge of development that we have ahead of us is huge. We need around 3.5 and 4.5 trillion dollars in annual investments in the world in for us to reach the SDGs, according to UNCTAD data. Considering we have around 1 trillion, we do understand that we have a gap of around 2.5 trillion dollars. So we do need to mobilize capital towards this. The total assets is around 380 trillion dollars and one percent of this total would help us eliminate this financing gap however the global financial system still seeks to channel this towards as the sdgs and sustainable investment so it, this should be a priority for all this is a priority for all of us here at the un institutions when we already have our colleague mention this such important information for us to close the financial gap inducing to development especially in the context of pandemics we are at so we need to in improve financial support and that the financial sector can actually provide support. Here at UNDP, we are very much focused on this challenge. We have in, in Paris, together with OECD, we have launched the framework to towards the SDGs so that we can have uh, alignment with all the plans for the SDGs. So the World Development Banks and formalized ac a joint action reinforcing the joint work to change their strategies, activities, and modalities of operation in order to support the advancement of SDGs. No doubt this is important towards the right path. In the Brazilian case, UNDP has also 
been uh, taking steps to being close to the sector more and more as UNDP, we, we recognize them as such important players in the recovery. So through innovation, we need to help increase access to credit with tools related to SDGs as discussed here in this event. Second, to develop standards and targets for investment in sustainable infrastructure and other actions related to economic recovery. I am happy to see that our understanding is aligned with what was discussed in this forum and that there is capacity in Brazil to go towards sustainable, sustainable growth. And Brazil has one of the largest development banks in the world, as well as subnational institutions. And this can ensure the role of leadership of this sector in order to face the challenges that need to be faced by the country. So UNDP is working in partnership with ABD and in September last year we signed a memorandum of understanding for our initiatives and actions. The first objective is to implement a methodology to map out the uh, sector with the 2030 agenda, analyzing and giving visibility to social impact and economic impact related to financing activities. We are going to finish this work this year so that we can identify the contributions by the sector to this moment. To summarize, we believe that the main message of this event is that we need to change things. The change, make a change in investment, development, in sustainable development. And you all have the ability to do different and to innovate in regarding the possibilities of investment and map out all the benefits of your financing and investment. And this will allow this sector to be the main player for us to change things and advance towards the 2030 agenda. Thank you very much for the invitation and for the excellent event. Thank you for the presence, for the attendance of uh, Mr. Carlos Aboleda. I am sure that our partnership will be further in the next months. It is great to know that we can rely on your important institution and teams to work with us and improve the work of all development agencies associated to ABD. Now, Mr. Carlos Linares, the president of the Latin American Association of Development Associations, Alige, which I am also um, part. I'd like to thank Alige for their support to our development forum for the organization Development Integration in Latin America that happened in, on Tuesday with several directors of multilateral and subnational banks in Latin America. High-level discussions on the opportunities for integrated development of the region in also offering uh, uh, the executive secretary Edgardo in the role of a moderator and speaker. It's important to highlight the contribution of uh, the uh, relationship between ABDE and Aligi for the strengthening of networks of development institutions in Brazil and in the region, contributing to stimulate the uh, closer connection between our country and the rest of Latin America. I'd like to recover the 
message of Martin Hama, uh, head economist of uh, the World Bank for Latin America and Caribbean, on the round table uh, at the closing of the forum yesterday on the 29th of April. Martin Hama pointed out that the region suffered with the impacts of COVID-19 and the conditions for recovery are still uncertain. He also reminded that the crisis can be a major in driver of transformation in the continent. We have several opportunities such as generation of cleaner and cheaper energy, digitalization, areas of investment that can help greatly to increase productiveness of our region. In face of the severity of the crisis in Latin America and in support of the recovery, we need to be united and rely on strengthened institutions that exchange knowledge among themselves. In this sense, the relationship between ABDE and LAG has the fundamental role of placing our banks and development agencies in line with the best sustainable development uh, financing practices in our region. In this spirit, we have built a cooperation agreement that will be signed at this closing table, an, uh, an agreement uh, contemplating a broad range of activities in the following areas, modernization of the actions of development agency support uh, to increase productivity in the countries in the region of Latin America, including Brazil. Pursuit of goals, of especially the 2030 goals, and synthesized by the SDGs and the 169 targets. Re economic recovery, sustainable recovery, post COVID-19. These thematic areas will be contemplated through joint activities between ABDE and ALIGI, with a highlight to the formulation of studies and research, organization of seminars and thematic meetings, development of capacity building and training of the staff of the respective associated institutions exchange in, in of um, experiences of uh, development financing and also engagement in activities implemented in the scope of our cooperation agreement so that effectively they can come together learn from each other strengthen ties find common solutions for the challenges of the countries and our region and also help in the implementation and strengthening of the integration of Latin America, which is one of the missions stated by the Brazilian constitution. I'd like to conclude by saying that one of the main messages of the development forum is the need to build and strengthen networks between development financial institutions in order to tackle common challenges and expansions that were referred to along this event. This agreement between ABDE and Aligi contributes to bringing together Brazilian and Latin America development banks in a collaborative platform for exchange of experiences and construction of common strategies. I'd like to give the floor now to the president of Aligi, Carlos Linares for his comments on the agreement. You have the floor. Thank you very much for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you for the invitation. Sergio Guzmão. Thank you for the invitation. I'd like to greet also Carlos Arboleda, as well, which has been so, as already mentioned, we have also, uh, you, you know that Alid, along its uh, institutional life, has been analyzing the concerns of all the region. Likewise, focusing on solutions and proposals to tackle these problems. 
issues such as international trade and integration, investments, joint initiatives in the scope of Latin America were, have been promoted by Alidi and through development banks because the creation of uh, Alide comes from the vision of integration, a strong vision of integration of Latin America in the 70s. And since then, our concern has been focused on solution of crises and how we are going to overcome the weaknesses of the region, improve competitiveness, and all these, uh, also social inclusion through greater financial inclusion, uh, the environmental crisis as well. And now we have the health crisis brought about by the pandemic. We have been observing with a lot of concern all these topics and discussions and uh, confirming everything that has already been said and discussed. And uh, I'd like to highlight some of some points, the issue of investments, which is so important for our countries. They need to be based on inclusive, on inclusion, inclusive development. We must join efforts with regional and multilateral institutions and all financial and non-financial institutions that are relevant in the social sphere in um, several countries in Latin America. The importance of development banks and agencies in helping overcome crises in and also the sub, for the subnational and national governments providing resources that are necessary to drive initiatives that were made stagnant by the health crisis. And so we see the importance of development institutions throughout the region, in the Caribbean as well. The need to strengthen these institutions is clear. I should also mention the development strategies of our countries with an emphasis on the 2030 agenda and also the, sustain, the SDGs. Therefore, the development institutions need to contemplate strategies and actions to build and reach the SDGs. The economic and environmental and health crisis is an opportunity for us to increase the resilience of our economies and not leave anyone behind. Uh, on the environmental sphere, transport, renewable energy, energy efficiency, sustainable agriculture, among other areas. But we have important expertise accumulated with the support of extra regional banks and exchange of good practices among development institutions and members of ALITI. Regarding international trade, in addition to the importance of deepening interregional trade, there are markets with huge potential and other continents in other continents that we must uh, make the best of. And in the assembly in 2019, we focused on the relationship between markets that are adopting a great uh, uh, that are becoming more dynamic. And so there is high demand for the products that we produce. I'd also like to say that or mention the important contribution of regional organizations, which facilitated resources in the health sector, supporting the links and facilitating businesses and integration of value chains as well as regional organizations together with development banks at the regional level and human 
development and infrastructure of cities to facilitate this integration, the diversity of programs and products in order to include and facilitate financial inclusion. We cannot think about regional integration. We don't have integration inside the countries. And this means integrating rural and urban centers as well as the international inclusion. So development banks are the main vehicles uh, of um, development and they are essential for us to achieve such inclusion. I uh, want to say that cooperation through a leader and the institutions of development in Brazil have carried out some activities such as the first meeting of chief economists in uh, the city of Belo Horizonte and BDMG was the host and we received this, uh, repeated this meeting in Mexico and we are expanding the partnership for development of subnational development entities. Many of them are also members of ALIDE. Finally, I'd like to talk about the partnership with ABD. It is great to re renew the cooperation of our institutions in order to strengthen our development in financial institutions and support the economic uh, growth of our countries. ABD in Brazil and Alidi at the regional and uh, Latin American Caribbean scope. So I'd like to thank you. And it was also um, brilliant to be here in this um, exchange of ideas, it w which were very important for our objectives, the objectives of our associations. We need technical support, technical study, exchange of information, capacity building, and this can be done in a smart manner in order to coordinate and we can get together. Uh, whenever we need to support our financial institutions. We can learn a lot from advancements in Brazil in terms of our social project financing. And Brazil can also learn and benefit from regional initiatives. This allows for exchange and partnership to facilitate the interests and aspects in the interest of both associations. We also, in our agreement, explore the areas where we can uh, be complementary towards the development of Brazil and the region regarding good practices and our agenda and Alidi, we are very pleased with this agreement and you can rely on us to enjoy all areas of cooperation in development initiatives. Before I conclude, I'd like to invite you all to our meeting of our assembly on the 25th and 26th of May, we're going to address, in addition to crisis, continuity or change through the digital transformation of the banking systems in order to contribute to the productive development at the regional level, including women, and their participation in the national GDP, as well as mechanisms towards green development after the pandemics. So we're going to discuss new challenges in the new, new era, new stage. I'd like to thank ABD for the participation, for the invitation to participate with you and to renew this uh, agreement that is so fruitful for all of us. Thank you.
agradecer a manifestação do nosso presidente. So I'd like to thank Mr. Linares' um, participation and to celebrate the agreement where we celebrate our partnership. So I'd like to share with you on my screen the document signed to celebrate our partnership, ABDE, with Abi, Alide. I'd like to thank Alide for, the, for signing this agreement, for the participation of President Carlos Linares in this event. And now I will give the floor to Mr. Carlos Linares for his closing remarks in our forum. Thank you again. And as I mentioned in my presentation, we are very pleased to have signed this agreement between our institutions. And I'd like to congratulate ABD for the organization of this forum with topics that are so important for our development institutions and for our countries. Also, it was great to hear all the experiences of Brazil. And um, I would like to say that our doors are already open to our Brazilian partners, as well as all is development institutions from Brazil. Thank you very much for the invitation to participate in such an important event. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Carlos Linares, President of COFIDE from Peru, and also President of ALIDE. I am pleased and I hope that our cooperation agreement is very fruitful. Now we are closing the forum and it is was a pleasure to count on your participation along the last five days. Important uh, thinking and discussions were generated for the future of the uh, development uh, system and uh, entities not only in Brazil but Latin America and all participants of all the regions in the world, from Europe, from Asia, and other regions of the Americas, as well as uh, Africa. So on behalf of the 31 associates, members of ABDE, I'd like to thank the speakers who dedicated their time and shared their knowledge and practices with us in the 24 panels that comprised the sixth edition of the Development Forum. Special thanks to the several international and national partners of ABDE, such as uh, Aligi, who uh, sent representatives for the discussions. And special thanks to the technical staff of ABDE, which made this forum a reality with so many quality sessions, my sincere thanks. This event was an important step for us to strengthen even more the coordination of development institutions in Brazil in a network for promotion of sustainable development in Brazil, connected with our neighbors, with our region, with the rest of the world, with the good practices in order to expand our horizons and imagination and the repertoire of and our toolkit for the promotion of development in our country.